stack of used coasters. The goal is to take something useless and transform it into something functional, like a glass. The question is, where do you begin with this? No trouble with the width. I'm at four inches. But the height, I'm just a little over two inches high. Which means I need just shy of four inches more of material. And since this is a recycle project, I don't want to go out and buy new wood for this. Sort of defeat the purpose. But I have this scrap piece of cherry from another project. Is that you want the glue to soak into the coasters. And the easiest way to get it to soak in is to thin it out. I give them all a good coat and then you just stack them together like a little nasty glue sandwich. Give them a few minutes to dry and then I will glue them to the cherry. It's getting slippery. Glue is interesting because it is extremely hard once it's all dry. But while it's drying, it's actually a lubricant. I've got five minutes between the time that I first start putting glue on here and the time where it's tacky enough um, that it'll set where it is. There. Doesn't that look like a pint glass? Whew, what a mess. Alright, so I'm just going to mark what I think is the center by drawing a line between the two corners. And so what we want to do is we want to tighten this to the point where it's not going to fly off and whack me in the face. Not everything always works. So while I was trying to remove wood from the end here, um, this is very weak. It's, um, it's not terribly strong. It flexed and it broke. I took the opportunity to hollow this part out and you can see this very, it's very rough surface in there. I've never turned cardboard before, uh, but it's a little hard to do. So now the trick is, how do I get rid of the rest of the material in here? I have a hole all the way through now. Oh, right. I wonder which part this goes to. Hey, look. That looks like the top. Could that be the top? Yeah. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I've got an extra piece. This one looks thin. Loverly. So when doing this sort of rapid prototyping, as I like to call it, I find that you have to just be okay with what happens. This is not traditional woodworking. I'm not doing a traditional project. So the steps aren't predefined, um, which means that you have to spend a lot of time thinking outside the box. Uh, and to be honest with you, at this point, I'm not even sure where the box is. <laughs> Okay, the glue is still drying, um, and I've, I've still got it clamped, but that doesn't mean I can't do a little wood turning here. So while it's all still clamped up, I'm going to take a few passes and see if I can't clean up some of this torn out grain and gummed up garbage here. Somehow, we actually have a cup, and it is made from scrap wood and recycled beer coasters. 
but we're going to seal it and make it usable. I'm going to use epoxy resin for that. This is what they use in boat building. It's good enough to keep your yacht afloat. It should be good enough for sealing our cup. Okay, so was that easy? Not really. Is it practical? Not particularly. But was it cool? Yeah, I think so. Cheers.